At this very moment, worried parents are carefully watching a severe respiratory virus that is spreading quickly around the United States. We're taking action for you right now with the latest from the CDC and a local medical expert. Spreading very rapidly. Uh, no one has immunity to it because it was so rare in the past. And so when you get infected with it, you're going to get common cold symptoms, fever, runny nose, headache, cough. The two groups that seem to be at the biggest risk for this particular strain of virus are the asthmatics because of, it causes a bronchiolitis or inflammation and swelling of the airway tubes and then children under five. Dr. James Orlowski, head of pediatrics at Florida Hospital Tampa, says a respiratory virus called Enterovirus 68 that has sickened more than a thousand kids in about a dozen states is likely to come to Tampa if it hasn't already. We have five asthmatics in the hospital right now, three on the ward and two in the ICU, and we're testing all five of them for the enterococcus, enterovirus, I'm sorry, enterovirus 68. And uh, so far, we don't have any results back on them. Symptoms can progress quickly into wheezing within 12 hours of first getting symptoms. So what do you watch out for? So what do you need to watch for? The child is suddenly making whistling noises when they breathe, having difficulty breathing, any little bit of color change toward the blue area around the lips or around the eyes or concern and the child needs to be seen. At a children's hospital in Denver, Colorado, officials say between August 18th and September 4th, doctors saw 900 pediatric patients with symptoms of this respiratory virus in the ER. And of those 900 patients, 86 had to be hospitalized. There's no need to panic at this stage. I mean, to a large extent, it's going to be very similar to many of the childhood viruses that people are used to seeing. When Odessa been reported, that the CDC is aware of, but the breathing issue is what parents need to keep an eye out for. If your child has difficulty breathing, they need to be seen by a doctor ASAP. The CDC also advises us all to follow those usual common sense steps. You know, wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds, disinfect common surfaces, and Dr. Orlowski adds, have your child wear a mask if they get sick, even if you're not sure what they're sick with. This virus is likely spread the same way a cold is, through droplets of saliva or mucus.